Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a product review for you. Yes, it was sent to me for review, but as always, the opinions are my own. Um, today I have the HTV Raunt heat press. So this is, it's like a heat press. I mean, it is a heat press. It's like the ones that where you bring the lid down, but this has some different features than that. Um, I believe the retail right now is $279, which is much less than the $1,000 Cricut price tag. Obviously, they will both have their pros and cons, and I don't have the Cricut one. So we're going to go over this that was sent to me. Now, just to give you a quick overview, it's this is it. It does not get any bigger than this. This is how much space it will take up. The drawer comes out for you to put your product on, or your project that you want to use heat transfer vinyl or sublimation or any type of heat in, induced product that you're trying to use. Um, the pad is on here with elastic. So if there's an issue, I'm assuming they will be selling pads at some point that you can, you know, if something gets on here. The drawer comes in and out. The important part is making sure that the drawer goes all the way in. Do you hear that noise? You push it and then you just give it a good struggle, a good struggle, a good push. Up here are all your controls. So you saw. Okay, I've brought you in closer. And these are your control panel. So this is your power button on and off. You see this is red. It's not up to temperature yet. And this is how you control the temperature. You push that button as long as it's blinking, you go up or down. I want it on 310 degrees and you just wait a second, it'll stop blinking and now it's heating up and you can watch that number go up. These are your times. Do you want 20 seconds, 15? I think the one project calls for 15 seconds. I have one that may call for 30. Again, let it blink and it will set. Now it's going up to the temperature. These buttons down here, you can have their custom settings for the machine. I will tell you it's heating up, nothing is hot. This black right here, this ring around it, that is warm and underneath is hot. That is your heat plate right there. So you're getting, oops, sorry, you're getting this even pressure when this, goes down and I'm going to show you a few different products that I have but you're getting this even pressure which is you're not ever going to get with an iron now you can get this same pressure with the crickets you know the easy press or the um, little irons they're designed for heat transfer vinyl but this is literally a press and go like this button here is automatic it's an a so all you do is hit the green when this is green you hit the button and it will automatically as soon as I shut it it will automatically start the press. I don't like that process. I wanna control it myself. But if you're doing a bunch of shirts at one time or a bunch of bags or whatever, you can pull it out, put your shirt, put your item here, push it in, and as soon as it locks in, it will press and go and do its thing. So that's great if you're using this for some type of a business. Um, it does weigh 36 pounds. So it is a little heavy, but it also, is very stable on my table. It doesn't feel like it's gonna flop around and you just need to have a place to store it, I would say. I'm assuming they'll come out with some accessories at a later time, like a dust cover would be nice. I think would be great because, you know, we're not gonna use it every day, all day. Now, um, the other thing I will tell you is, um, this is a replacement, the one that came to me shipping, the handle was broken and it was very simple. I just notified them and said, hey, I got it, but it's broken. And they were very quick to send me a new machine. So my original one was in mint green. I believe that's the one they sent out to, um, to the influencers or different YouTube channels and people that are helping promote this. Uh, for me though, I had the mint one was no, it was broken. So I got a white one. Um, the white one also came with this Teflon ironing sheet, which will help protect the heat plate. If you have something that you think may melt, um, if you're testing new product. So let me move this back, get you in a better view. And then I will start showing you this in operation. All right. I've pulled the drawer out. The first thing we're going to try is wood. How fun is this? This is a Dollar Tree wood. I put some paint on it. Now you do have to have a Cricut or some type of machine or some way to get 
heat transfer vinyl to you, even if that's like buying it on Etsy or whatever. But you do have to have some type of ironing, iron on material. Now, this is going to say, hello, fall. I do have it here in the center. Now, because I'm nervous about the wood and the paint, I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to push it in. Lock it into place. I have it set on 310 degrees for 15 seconds. Let's go. Now, that's about an inch thick of wood. And if you can see, it accommodated that. Now, I wouldn't, I don't think I could go any thicker than one inch of wood, but you could do the wood rounds. So now it's done. The top is lifting on its own. We're gonna pull it out. We're gonna take that off. And we're gonna see how this works. Now that was just 15 seconds. And it didn't quite, I need to let it cool for a minute. I'm so impatient. This vinyl here, I believe is, I have to remember what vinyl this is. This is the black. So this is Sizic or Sizic, Sizer, Sizer girl, Sizer. And it wants a warm pull. Now, going on to wood, I don't think that's working. So we're gonna try again. And that's all you have to do. It's not coming off. So we're gonna put it down there again, let it do its thing. I'm only gonna go about five seconds more. And you can stop it at any time. Pull it out and then we're gonna let this cool. Sit it right there. The next thing I have to do, and I don't think on the next one I will need the Teflon, is we're gonna do a little bag. Now this little bag is, um, like a muslin, burlapy sort of textury, cottony something or other, just a small little bag. And what I wanna do first is heat it up. So I'm just gonna iron it, let it go for 15 seconds. That's gonna warm it up. And it's also gonna take out any of the wrinkles. We don't want wrinkles, right? I'm so excited to start making stuff for the holidays. I can't even, I'm dying here. So that's coming up, it's coming out, and look at how nice and pressed that is. Ugh. And that's what you want. You don't wanna iron over wrinkles. Now, this is also the Sizer Easy Peel, Easy Weed. So this is gonna be a kind of our better indicator of how this is gonna work. So I'm just gonna stick it right there. I want it on this bottom corner, if you can see that. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna push it in, and I know the sizer is 15 seconds. And what's great about this is it has a, the top will move with whatever's under it and the padding will absorb. So that strap, that string or collars on shirts should not be a problem. And while it's doing it, I cut out a bunch of other stuff. Look at that pumpkin. I just put these on some heavy plastic so they don't get a bunch of lint. And that looks like it's gonna be perfect. It just has to cool. Again, you want these things to cool before you try to peel them. I don't think the Sizer Easy Peel is working on the wood it's so good. So I would say that the wood potentially is not our best option, but I can get this to lay down at some point and I will still use it. But I would say probably not our best option on wood with paint. So that was probably not a good, our best uh, indicator, but we tried, right? That's all you can do. And I'm peeling this off, it's coming. Nothing is stitching, sticking, I let it cool. And look at that, how easy. I mean, it's on there, it's not lifting, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. And then I'm gonna be using it as a little bag. But how cute is that? 15 seconds, guys. Especially if you got a cricket or if you wanna do some kind of business. Oh, I'm excited. All right, now we're gonna try a t-shirt. And I'm gonna press it for you like I did before and then we're gonna talk about it. Now, in the middle of this shirt, I took 
this is how I line things up. This is a quilter's chalk pencil. So I put what the middle of the shirt is with that. And then I measured the front of my cutout and I put a little Sharpie so that I can line those up and know that I'm in the center. Just something easy to do. But what I need to do first is get this shirt up here. And here's already one of the things that um, I've noticed and I know other, other people have noticed. It's gonna be a challenge if you have a larger shirt. This is a 2X. There's not a lot of room in the back here to pull this up, you know, without it kind of bunching up. But we're gonna see. So I'm just gonna get under here, push it in, and we're gonna press the front. Now this was the HTV Ront vinyl. I got this from them, it was sent to me. It is sticky. I had a very hard time weeding this because it's so extra sticky, the transfer paper is really sticky. So we're gonna see if this will come off. I know that they, this is a cool pull, so we're gonna press it and then we're gonna cool pull it. So what I was saying is like, the shirt's not a far enough back. I'm right here at the edge. It's gonna be okay, but if you're gonna try to do a large print, you need to, um, be careful how far up you pull your shirt. You really wanted about three fingers from the neck, which is what I did. So we're gonna push it in. I believe this takes 15 seconds as well with this. And a lot of times it's going to be trial and error. You know, I didn't know if this would work. I could, I'm gonna glue it down, it's gonna work, but I didn't know if it would, you know, heat transfer over paint. It doesn't. <laughs> or at least this specific stuff does not. Now, we're gonna pull it out, take a look. Um, I don't know if 15 seconds was good enough. We're gonna try 15 more seconds at 310 and we're gonna go. So the first one was Sizer Easy Peel, lived up to its name. It totally came off, super easy. 10 seconds or 15 seconds at 310 degrees and it's on there. This is not gonna lift with use and all of that. It is pressed in there really well. Okay, I think this is gonna be better. I need to let it cool completely. So this HTV Ron asks for a cold pull, but that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> so we're gonna move this off to the side and let that completely cool off. And now we're gonna try it on a sweatshirt. So this is Cricut vinyl. It's just the Cricut, um, just the HTV vinyl, their generic vinyl. Again, this is a two extra large sweatshirt. So I wanna get it on here straight. We're gonna go in and we're gonna heat it up. Heating it up also helps, helps the vinyl stick. Cause what you're trying to do is melt this glue and push it into the fibers of the shirt so that it stays. We're making our Christmas sweatshirt because that is how we roll around here. And I always recommend giving it a good press first because that is ideal. Um, let's see, I think that's gonna go right about here. And it just says Whoville. Now I happen to know that Cricut Ask for 30 seconds, so we're gonna do a 30 second press. Give it there. Now, I'll show you what happens if I don't push this all the way in. So I didn't lock it into place. It's gonna beep at me. It's telling me that it's not ready. Push it all the way in and give it a 30 second press. And then by then, I should be able to pull this shirt off because it says to let that cool completely. The Cricut is for a warm peel and that's something you'll need to read each package directions on because you wanna give it the best chance to stick. I love this machine. Um, the little quirks to it, I can live with figuring out how to get you know the fabric back there. You've got a couple inches back here behind it. Um, I can live with that. And for the price point, absolutely I can live with it. Now the Cricut, 
I think. You can hot peel it because it's coming right off all on its own. Oh, Debbie wants to come and see us. Hi, buddy. Uh, guys, I'm dying here. Now, I will show you once these are cool. But let me turn this off. So, like I said, this is the Cricut vinyl. We're going to let all this stuff cool. And then I will show you when it's done in a better view. But we're going to peel... This is making me nervous. This is the HTV Ronk that is very um, sticky. And so you're gonna, yeah, see, I'm having to fight it to get it off this shirt and I'll show you what's gonna happen. It's just gonna pull it. I mean, it's coming off, it's attached, but it's stretching, it's stretching the, vinyl so you're getting kind of a little bit of wrinkles it's not terrible but i like the size are better and this is their chameleon if you can see when you turn directions i mean it's very cute I'll, i will wear this but um it's very sticky so i would say i like the sizer and i like the cricket vinyl the best um so let me try this stuff on and show you the finished products okay we're all done and look at this shirt isn't that adorable i think it's all you hear you say hi <laughs> that's wellington um so this is the htv ront it's not terrible it laid out flatter it just is very sticky so if you don't want to fight with it i would go with sizer or um cricket so this is the t-shirt it's on here and i want to give you a better view this is the little canvas bag i mean this is on here this is not it's not going to um peel off i don't feel like it's it's on here which is nice and that's the thing if you don't when you're using a heat transfer vinyl, if you don't put enough pressure on it and even heat, it's not, it's gonna peel off after like one launder. So I made this little bag just because I thought it was adorable. And then my sweatshirt that I made that says Whoville. Established 1957 for Christmas time. And this sweatshirt, I also cut the bottom off because I wanted it to be straight. Um, these sweatshirts are from Walmart. This is athletic brand. They were on sale for $2. So I got four of them. I may do something on the sleeve of this, like, I don't know, Grinch or something. We'll see. But I just thought this would be a cute shirt. I saw something on Pinterest and I said, I can make that. So that is how it worked out. I love it. If you're looking to, um, Maybe get into a business where you make personalized t-shirts. If you already personalize stuff, I will definitely say that it is worthwhile for the $279 price tag, um, just for the ease of it and the convenience is what I would say. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed my review of the HTV Ront. And there's some information in the description box below and you have a fantastic day.